Hello everyone, welcome to another Argmo video. My name is Rutri and today we're going over how to craft the potent variations of the energy brew and medical brew. Now these are stronger versions of the normal um, brews and whatnot to make it a little bit easier to run caves. So definitely prepare a the bunch of these for the upcoming dungeons and I'll show you guys how to make them. Now, just like the normal energy brews and medical brews, I have both of the recipes right here. So for the Rockwell recipe, it says that it'll take two handfuls of Tinto Berries. Oh, this is for the medical brew, by the way. A half dollop of narcotics, submerge in water, and cook in a cooking pot. Now, I'm not good at recipes. Let me just tell you the exact ingredients. Um, the normal version requires 20 Tinto Berries, two narcotics, and one water. The potent variant adds an additional one potent dust. I'll have the recipe on screen for you guys to make things a little easier. As for the energy brew potent, that one requires two handfuls of azul berries, half a dollop of, stim of stimulant, submerge in water, and cook in a cooking pot. So again, very, very similar process to the medical brew, ex except azul berries and stimulant instead. Same amount of ingredients, though. And in addition, if you do want to make a potent variant, be sure to add in one potent dust as well on top of it. It is a little bit pricey, but it does make it a lot easier in the long run for getting additional um, stam and health when you're trying to run caves and whatnot. So overall, the um, potent dust is a little pricey. If you need more potent dust, you can always crush your ancient amber in your in your mortar and pestle, get it from um, the free item per day, or you can go ahead and run the swamp cave, ice cave, etc. So let's go ahead and start crafting it. Let's see, toss in some wood. And for the medical brew, first of all, let's go ahead and toss in one potent dust. We'll just toss in our entire stack of narcotics and our tinto berries. And we'll also toss in one of the water skins. So I'll go ahead for 45 seconds to craft up our very first potent medical brew. Now the normal version in the cooking pot, um, the non-potent version will take 30 seconds. The potent variants will always take 45 seconds of cooking pot. I'm not sure about the time on the industrial cooker. I don't have one yet to actually test it out yet. So let's see, while that's cooking, we can go ahead and check out how they look. So let's see, right over here I have in my refrigerator the potent variations of the medical brew and the non-potent um, non versions. As you can tell, the descriptions are the exact same and the icons are very similar. The potent version is slightly brighter and has a white outline around it. Well, it's kind of like a light, slight, sl slightly saturated red. Anyways, let's go, let's go back to the potent version and see how it's all crafted. Let's see, yep, all cooked, and now we have one more medical brew potent. So very useful for running caves. They do take two hours to spoil, I believe, but you can always um, bring it on a quetz and park your a quetz right outside a cave and uh, make sure it doesn't spoil as fast in a um, refrigerator or um, serving bin. Let's go ahead and craft the next one. Let's see, let's take all, trench it back in the wood. You can use spark powder, thatch, anything that lights up a fire. Let's see, for this one, we'll go ahead and toss in one potent dust. If you try tossing more, it won't use more. It'll just like hold off the next one. Let's see, also need the azul berries and there's my stimulant. There it is. And then one more water. Oops, water. <laughs> okay, there we go. And for 45 seconds, we'll be cooking up one of the potent variations of the energy brew. Now the, en the potent energy brew does give you 70 stam over time. It does not apply to uh, any tames, I believe. I believe it only applies to your player, so be, sh um, be sure not to craft it for any of your teams. Let's see, about 30 more seconds. Not so bad. I really hope I can try to get the times later for the cooker, but I still have one. I will. Someday I'll, cook I'll make an industrial cooker, but not today. I would totally play the Jeopardy music now without if I, if I want to get a coffee strike. <laughs> Oh well, let's go ahead and it should be ready in just a second. There we go, and now we have one potent energy brew, so that will give you a um, a stocky 7 stamina for that. So anyways, thank you so much everyone, That's, that goes over how to get the potent variations of the energy brew and the medical brew. So if you want to get a stronger version than the current um, like plain variations, it almost doubles the effect of it. The average one does 40, the potent versions do 70 each, so it's a pretty big difference, especially with our cooldown rate. So anyways, thank you so much for watching F1. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe for more content. Anyways, we'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.